And this is a message to people, families that want that that American dream of having a home, the white picket fence and a dog. Um, whatever dog that you decide to have, make sure you do your research 110% because that was also a factor in our downfall. And be a responsible pet owner. And us being a responsible pet owner is us taking that step to know that we can't afford to keep him. We don't have the time that it requires to love him and and spend that quality time with him. So the ultimate decision was rehoming. For the past couple months, my husband and I have been trying to rehome our lab. And let me just say, this has been a very long, stressful, emotional, very emotional process. And it's been very emotional for me because we've had Roscoe since we purchased our house, like a couple months after we purchased our home. And it's emotional because it's like you're that parent that you know that you don't have the time that it takes to take care of this this family member ultimately and you have to make the the ultimate decision to rehome them and of course rehoming has its ups and downs um positives and negatives should i more so say because when you interview these people to potentially take your dog you know people can come off as one way and then actually be something completely different i'm just really hoping and praying that that's not the case for you know for roscoe because he's really an amazing dog we don't have the time for him honestly the the medical cost labs we didn't do our research when we got a lab before we got him um and unfortunately that was one of the determining factors as to why we knew that we could no longer keep him labs typically have a lot of skin conditions luckily his skin condition is a direct reflection of whatever it is that he eats so he does get well he used to get skin flare-ups before we had him on this hydrolyzed protein diet which that within itself is expensive um and then not only that, labs tend to have reoccurring ear infections. This is something I had no idea about, you guys. So that was definitely my fault. Because if we had did the proper research before we got him, I would never have gotten a lab. They shed like crazy. Like, terribly. I have to sweep and vacuum my floor multiple times a day. Because he shed so much. And... I did not know that labs shed so much, so we probably should have looked into getting a hyperallergenic dog, but you live and you learn. I will never own another dog ever again. And that's simply because my husband, it doesn't fit the lifestyle that my husband and I now envision. We want to be able to travel and go places with the kids and without our kids. Keep in mind, we have five children. And... I don't want to have to have that worry of where are we going to put Roscoe, you know, while we're out of town. Um, so that's one less thing that we have to worry about. Not only that, I'm hoping and praying that I get into this limited admissions program for college. And if I get into that program... I'm already going to be taking time away from my kids and that extra time that I have, I really need to be studying. And Labrador Retrievers require a lot of attention. My dog is four years old and he's high energy, which fit perfectly into our lifestyle when we just had three children and when we were just working regular nine to five jobs. My husband has changed careers since we've gotten Roscoe. And I felt as if a lot of the responsibility of him fell back on me. And with my husband's career choice, a lot of times I am 
home alone with the kids and the dog. That's not true. Um, so he wasn't getting the time that he needed. He wasn't getting the walks that he needed. And it, it really, really, really sucks. But I have faith that Roscoe will be in a loving home. This home for him. And I just really hope that they give him the time, the energy that he needs. Another thing, like I've interviewed a lot of families, a lot of families I have interviewed and some of them, I was just like, this person's crazy. There's absolutely no way I'm going to let him go with them. Some families I'm like, okay, well, this is an older couple. Are they going to, and they're retired, are they going to have the time to be able to take them out? So we ended up not going with them then you know a couple with children we were like that'd be a great fit but things unfortunately didn't fall through with that one so we interviewed and interviewed and interviewed and interviewed and yeah so this is cheers to the next adventure for roscoe i know that he's gonna thrive in his next home